Potomac inauguration celebrations with just two days to go before President-elect Donald Trump is sworn in. Concerts and other activities are underway. Our next guest is slated to perform at the Make America Great Again welcome celebration this Thursday night. Joining us right now is Lee Greenwood, a Grammy Award winning country music artist, and we are thrilled to have him right here on the set. Lee, great to see you. Thank you, Maria. Congratulations. Thank you. How exciting for you. How are you feeling ahead of the big day? Uh, you know, it's just a, it's a great, exciting moment. As a matter of fact, I have two kids that are 21 and 18. And I'm texting them from here in Washington, and they're both like, "Dad, that's so cool!" It you know, is so like... cool. But this is this is your fourth presidential inaugural uh, performance, is that right? Yeah, and second time at the Lincoln Memorial. But this is going to be really fantastic this time. How does this compare to, to what you've done in the past? I, it's different because it's so much about our new president-elect, and of course the social media presence and all of that, and how it's changed how we feel and how we talk to each other and communicate. Um, but it's going to be a great musical experience. You, you'll be blown away by what's going to happen. Oh my God, I'm excited. Yeah, I can't tell you everything, but it's going to be. <laughs> so, so, so picking up on that, Lee, having been involved, obviously, with the campaign this year on, on some level, as much as your song is truly every American song, every Patriot song, I do think the sentiment of it is how a lot of Trump supporters feel about this country and the hope to make America great again, the optimism of it. Do you feel a, a bit of that as you perform it? Yeah, I it? do. And I like the quote, make America, America, America great again. And somebody asked, well, isn't America great, been great lately? Well, yes, it's always been great. You know, and our pursuit of the freedom that we enjoy, that's really important. Um, and I've always pursued the fact that I want, God bless the USA, or proud to be American, whatever you want to call it, what I wrote in 1983, to be for all Americans. And I sing it for the military. We have wounded warrior things we do, giving them homes. And so we try to make that, that always the focus of what we do and not political. But as you said, the Trump supporters particularly have grasped this and they like it. And I know he played it at a lot of rallies. We, I thought it was a positive thing to do. What do you what do you make of you've got what 60 Democrats in the House who are going to boycott the inauguration and a lot of vocal anti um, Trump individuals, excuse me, it will be anti president of the United States individuals, um, it, it, particularly in the. Uh, entertainment community. Yeah, the most recent is Jennifer Holliday. She was slated to perform and she pulled out. She said she got an onslaught of criticism. Well, the election's over. I mean, you know, we you have a president tell the 60 Dems that are, uh, <laughs> that are boycotting that. I don't uh, yeah. think they understand. I think it's over, isn't it? And yeah, so, I think so. Let's, so. I think we all need to get behind the president as we've done every election prior. And you know, once a nation focuses on its, you know, the election process. And I heard this thing about the Russians. They said they'd, they'd done some kind of election. What, they send operatives into Seattle and Miami and stuff the ballot box? <laughs> they had nothing to do with our election. That's it's right. done. It's over. Let's move on and support the new president and give him a chance. Well, I mean, look, I, you see. Hollywood really getting political. They just, you know, I mean, the NFL is denying reports this morning that Lady Gaga was told you cannot get political and talk about politics with President elect Donald Trump during the Super Bowl. What's your take on that? We don't know if the NFL actually said that to Lady Gaga, but I will say this people don't want to hear that from singers, and they don't want to hear that from Hollywood. People went nuts after Meryl Streep at the Golden Globes. You're exactly right. An entertainer should never use their stage as a pulpit to talk about politics or their personal agenda. You've been hired to sing and do the best you can to entertain the audience. Listen, Lady Gaga's a great artist. I think she's fabulous. And I think they're exactly right telling her, do not do anything that's out of context. Get on there, do your show, make people happy about seeing you, enhance the Super Bowl experience, and get off. The irony is that their, their entertainment industries, these, the voice of these celebrities, and their promotion of Hillary Clinton didn't get her elected so the American people weren't listening to you during the election but they can't help themselves and they just keep talking well I also think it's important again going back to, to your legendary song Lee it's a time for unification it's a time for our country to come Absolutely. together and I think it's awesome what you're doing the, the, the concert at the Lincoln Memorial I think is a great way yeah. to really begin that you process. You want to give us a little tease and take us out to commercial with a little <laughs> song right here Lee? And I'm proud to be an American or at least I no, I'm free, and I won't forget the men who died who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today, because there ain't no doubt we love this land. God bless the USA.